All right, Pisces, let's do a collective weekend read. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces. We're the weekend. <laughs> all right, into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and well. All right, let's see what's popping for the Pisces Collective. Please remove any of my energy out of this reading. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. God, universe, and the sisters. And the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. What's going on with Pisces for this weekend? Going into October, Libra season. <clears throat> All right, so first card out, we have the woman holding a heart. <laughs> I don't know why I'm all theatrical. Okay. Seriously. Pisces. Trying to give y'all some of that good energy. All right. Then we have... Oh. Okay. Guys. Gals. Check this out. We have the woman holding a heart and the man holding a coin. Number 43 and 44. Don't they sound like they go together? I just love it. Could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, an indecision. Oh, shit. Do I go with this way or do I go with that way? <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what's up with y'all's energy, but I wasn't like this before I started, so. Yeah. Woman holding a coin. Female dealing with family, love, or emotions. This woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and rep set receptivity for love, or it might be a message that message that your family issues are going to resolve. You are an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you are bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card could also indicate the presence, the oh, it's fucking braces, I swear. I love you braces, but damn. All right, this card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, a teacher or a confidant who is here to help you with issues of love, family, or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also portend a new love interest or a friend coming your way. And Okay, there we go. Luna, wait. Number 43, the man holding a coin. Male connection in money, health, or value. All right, this card shows a man sitting in a lusciously flowering field holding a large bright coin. For men, this could indicate an aspect of yourself and the readiness to further your goals and receive increased health, money, or value in your life. Greater success is on its way, and when you take control of your own finances and act, this card upright could also indicate Okay, this card could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you've already know or who are soon to meet. This man could be helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take next. Be open to this person showing up with support, but always turn on your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. This could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. So Pisces, immediately is what I'm picking up from here is this could be... Holy balls. Little one, where are you? Do not. No, no. Luna. You're so cute, but no. Okay, so this intuitive, loving woman connected to her emotions, all right, may be meeting who's also could be a teacher, all right, coming into someone's life. This man could also, this is like two energies coming together. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. However, the case is, this is, um, <clears throat> you guys see her? Stop it. 
That's my trash. This could be two people. Sorry, guys, for the interference. Um, two people coming into sync with one another who can add value to each other's life in different ways. Okay. So then we have indecision number eight. We never pull this card. So let's find out, shall we, which choice to make. This card marks the presence of two or more possible choices in your life. Is it going to be a man or is it going to be a woman, Pisces? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Possible choices in your life. It shows you anxiously looking at two roads, wondering which would be a better choice. Yet, you are still standing. Feeling confused by the up and down emotions of your present indecision. You could spend days, months, or even years in this back and forth energy. All the while feeling your focus and your life force energy draining away. This indecision creates a paralysis of will. And that will keep you stuck while you're waiting to be certain about the results of your choice. It is time to let go of the analysis and self-doubt that have been keeping you stuck. Meditate on your options and see where your spirit guides you. Consider which uh, direction resonates with you most, both in the process and in the goal. Follow your heart and make the honoring choice. Hmm. Spirit says to meditate. Meditate on your answer. Stop procrastinating. Stop overanalyzing and just fucking do it. Okay? What is your intuition telling you? What are your guides trying to tell you? Hmm? Hmm, Pisces? <clears throat> two cups right in the bottom i'm feeling love y'all i'm feeling love wealth good health value i don't know why someone's sitting on the fence over here someone's sitting on the fence like i don't know what to do the longer you sit there and don't know what to do the longer you're gonna sit there and don't know what to do okay you're never gonna know unless you take that loop i feel like i could be reading for the general collective of masculine and feminine. This is like, okay, I'm getting the energy of, okay, so if you're a male watching me, you may be like, fuck, like I, maybe you have a choice between two women or I don't know if I want to do this, if I want to do that, or I don't even know if I want a fucking relationship. I may just want to work on my finances, my stability, my health, whatever, you know, but damn, you know, I've got all this and I ain't got no one to give it to all right, so it's kind of like, I don't know what I want. You know, it's like someone who's sitting on the fence of indecision. Feminines, this could be you. Like, damn, you know, I got all this fucking love to give, but I ain't got no one to give it to. Where, Where's my, uh, where's my Prince Charming, huh? Where's my King Charming? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I've been working on myself. I've been working on self-love for so long. I don't even know if I want to give my love to anybody because I'm scared. I don't know if I want to give my heart to anybody. My heart is finally whole. My heart is finally mended. It's mine. I don't know if I want to give it to anybody, but I miss love. I got so much love to give. All right. So that's what I'm saying. It's like maybe two opposites. It's like, like you guys may add value to one another, but someone here is sitting on the fence of like indecision. The longer you sit there, the longer that you're going to sit in indecision, right? The longer you don't make a choice is the longer you're going to be indecisive. I'm just saying. Luna. I don't even know how she hops up there. It's like this tall. She's got hops. All right, show me what's up with this woman over here, spirit. <clears throat> show me what's up with this woman holding a heart. The world. This could be someone who's foreign, maybe somebody at a distance. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. This could be someone who's also very successful themselves, who's very loving, nurturing, caring. This could be someone who helps connect you with your emotions or someone who's just very like connected to their emotions in general. Very intuitive as well. Two of Swords in the reverse, okay? So Two of Swords in the reverse. This is somebody, uh, Two of Swords talks about like having rose-colored glasses on, refusing to make a choice or a decision because you don't have all the facts about something. So this is someone who's like, they're taking out, this person is seeing things clearly, all right? This person's very successful. 
Again, with the world card, it talks about a positive result. Someone here has taken the rose-colored glasses off when it comes to what, Spirit? Ooh, Seven of Swords. Deception. <laughs> this is like someone who could like... This is someone who's like no longer naive, okay? Like no longer blinded from the truth. This is someone who can see, see, see deception. Oh my gosh, get out of there. Honey! Yeah? Can you come get her? Because she's like all up under my desk and if she chews my cord to my light, I'm going to be really... Not happy. All right. <clears throat> She's under there somewhere. Under that desk. Thank you. This woman can see see through the bullshit. See through any type of sneakiness. Any type of sneaky behavior. See right there. This woman has a lot of love to give to. Too many. Show me this man holding a coin. Show me man holding a coin. What is up with him? Temperance. Could be a Sagittarian man or someone with Sag in their chart. Or this is just someone who is very patient, very balanced. Hmm. Tell me more about this man holding a coin. What else do we need to know about this gentleman? Ooh. Thank you. Four of Cups. This man is feeling bored, like I was saying. Feeling bored and discontent when it comes to love, right? It's like, I've got all of my health and my wealth and my value, but I've not got to love yet. It's like someone that's like, <clears throat> this could be someone who is very, you know, wealthy or, you know, has their shit together. Oh, the Empress on the bottom. Now, Two of Cups in the reverse. This could be someone who has recently ended a relationship, or this is someone who, uh, I don't know. Maybe you weren't seeing eye to eye with this person. I don't know, is this a past person? This to me looks like whoever the masculine here is, Pisces, if you're the feminine watching me, you could have been dealing with a masculine energy who is more focused on career, their health, their value, material things, okay? Masculine, if you're watching me, you could be Dealing with a woman who is very loving, nurturing, caring, kind, but maybe um, like more focused, more directed around love and intuition. But this woman could also see through any type of deception. I also feel like this is somebody who may be distant from you. <clears throat> so it's like two people who are complete opposites. Like one operates out of love, one operates out of like material wealth, materialism, health, value, whatever. It's two opposites here. And one who's like more geared, the feminine's more geared around love. But this man is feeling... I don't know. There could have been a relationship that ended between the two of you because of some type of shady behavior, deception that this woman seen right through. Okay. That could be what is causing the distance between you two. <clears throat> this this man is trying to balance out their emotions along with their desires here. Okay? Or maybe they had to learn how to, to balance these out, their emotions and their desires. They could be feeling, you know, rejected or bored and discontent when it comes to love. Two of Cups reversed. Um, maybe this man wasn't looking for love. They could have rejected you. Maybe this person didn't want to be in a relationship. Like I said, they may have been more about the material world. I'm a material girl. All right. There was some type of indecision here. or There is. Show me what's up with this indecision. 
The judgment. Scorpio energy. Show me indecision. Someone may be like undecisive on whether or not they want to like reconcile, move things forward. Cancer energy or travel. Ace of Pentacles showing itself and Ten of Wands in the reverse. Someone's like indecisive on like letting go of something that was weighing them down. Like Ten of Wands in the reverse talks about dropping those burdens, all right? It's like whatever was burdening something is someone's like <clears throat> indecisive on whether or not they want to reconcile, to travel, to have some type of forgiveness, to try something again, to move things forward, or just to like let it fucking go. Okay. Interesting read, y'all. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Oh, the Five of Swords right under that. There could have been a lot of drama, a lot of mind games being played in the past. All right. Someone may have moved again. I'm getting a lot about distance here, travel. Um, with the wheel as well, something about divine timing here. Things turning back around. Okay. So let's get some advice for these two. <coughs> Pisces. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in a good mood. I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but anyway. Yeah. I need to be shorter. <laughs> All right. Give me some advice for this feminine energy over here. Three cards. Give me some advice for this feminine energy. Spirit, what do you advise for this feminine energy? If this reading is resonating with you, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I appreciate you guys oh so much, but I'm digging it. So, yeah. I almost wonder if this is two people coming back to, or there's indecision here. Someone's like, do I go this way? Do, do I want to like reconcile? Do I want to, you know, the judgment card talks about like something coming back around. Um, uh, forgiveness, reconciliation, um, in order to move something forward, it's like, somebody is like, do I move something forward? Do I travel? Um, it's like, do I reconcile, try this shit again? Or do I just fucking let it go? Like someone's indecisive on whether or not like they want to do this again, but something here with the wheel of time, something here is divine timing. Something here is faded. Something here. I feel like something will turn in whoever's favor, but there's indecision. Someone just needs to like, whatever choice you decide to make, I feel like will be good. But you need to trust your intuition. This woman right here is a very loving energy, but she can see right through any type of deception. You can't be, you can't be shady when it comes to this person. This is someone who's also very successful. So, but this person is also very loving. With this world card, I'm getting success, a foreign type of energy, or someone who's just very distant. But this woman has a whole fucking large heart to give. Like, but right now she's giving it to herself. Like, look at the way she's holding it. It's like, no, like, I don't want to give this to anybody because it's fucking whole. It's finally whole, right? With the world card, this person is successful, but this person can see through any type of shady deception. So whoever comes towards her has to come correct. Okay, come correct. But this man could be, you know, more about the material things. Very sexy, too. <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, very alluring. Like, god damn. <laughs> okay. All right. One more shuffle. I was just seeing if I seen anything else. I feel like this masculine either either is someone who may have rejected something. This person had to like come in, like get their emotions and their desires into balance here. They may have rejected some type of relationship or they didn't want a relationship. They may not have taken the cup that was being given to them.
This man is being very patient though. This person may have felt like they, they missed an opportunity. At true love, maybe. Give me advice for this woman holding me heart. <clears throat> King of Swords. One more. Ten of Wands showing itself. The Emperor. Okay. So Aries, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And the Five of Fucking Swords. How is that advice? All right. Um, well, it's coming out sideways. Hmm. Take charge of the situation here. Stand in your power. Be authoritative. Communicate clearly. Don't play any mind games. Okay. Give me advice for this masculine. Justice. Libra energy. Could be a Libra or a Sag here. Give me advice for this masculine. Six of coins. And the seven of cups. So again, the justice card talks about balance. The six of coins can also talk about equal give and take. But the seven of cups is like someone here is confused. It could be the masculine that's indecisive here. Confused. This person may have other options or they're confused about having some type of equal give and take or having some type of balance restored to the situation. This woman may feel like this man plays mind games or is a little bit manipulative. They're, but they're an emperor. They're, oh, she looks at this person like it's her emperor, but she feels like there's some jealousy or some one-upping or mind games here with the king of swords coming out sideways, five of swords. Maybe this man looks at this woman, like this woman is someone who's very fair, balanced, He may feel like she has other options and is wondering if there's give and take or if she's given to someone else or this is what this, you know, vice versa, flip the rules. Show me what this emperor is for this woman's advice. The nine of swords. So this woman is about, this woman is worried about like taking an authoritative role, like taking charge of the situation. Show me the King of Swords. This could even be something with the authorities as well. This will, okay. What the hell did this turn into? Show me this King of Swords. The Two of Wands in the reverse, indecision. She feels like somebody here is indecisive or maybe she, fuck, both of them are. The fuck? So this woman is like confused about whether or not this is the right direction to go in. Show me the five of swords. King, knight of coins. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Somebody here may want to just take something very fucking slow. Someone doesn't want to play any games with anybody. This is a woman who's very like guarded and worried about like. This is kind of cute because it's like this woman like. Um... She feels like she's worried about like taking charge of the situation or worried about her emperor per se, um, but undecisive because 
you know, wanting to take things very slow because she may feel like someone here is manipulative or playing mind games with her. This is like someone who's very guarded when it comes to their heart. But they have a whole fucking heart to give. Okay. Show me this man. What's this justice card? Hanging woman. <laughs> All right. Show me the six of coins. So the hanging woman, Pisces, Libra energy. Someone here has gotten clarity about a situation or someone feels stuck when it comes to like restoring balance or bringing some type of fair, equal give and take or like justice or someone may feel like. Um, show me the six of coins. of wands all right guys i'm gonna be honest this masculine uh well i'm always honest but anyways this masculine may have like other suitors um and he's not sure uh, about bringing, like, he feels stuck when it comes to having something equal or fair here in the situation. This person may give to others. There could be a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone here may have options. Someone, someone may even be fucking married and they may need to end something, but they're indecisive on whether or not they want to do that. You know? Seven of Coins. King of Wands. Wow. Seven of Cups. King of King to the king, king to queen. There's a lot of passion here. A very strong magnetic attraction. Why is this man having a hard time? The eight of cups. Possibly because this per this man of coins may need to walk away from something in order to have this. Okay, why is this woman feeling this way? Ten of Cups. Because <laughs> she got because she got another my love. Because <laughs> I love you. You my Ten of Cups. So this woman is like, damn, y'all motherfuckers. Okay. <laughs> Shit. What once was an easy reading turned into straight confusion, eh? All right. What's going to happen here, spirit? What's going to happen here? Aww. What's going to happen here? All right, y'all. Um, do you want the bad truth or the bad truth? Someone here is not going to take action. Someone may be staying in a marriage because of material, because of material things. The devil, the moon, and the ten of swords underneath the deck. So it's like... Bad 
Damn, y'all. I'm going to leave this reading here. Um, That was a buzzkill. <laughs> I was feeling good about it. <laughs> All right, Pisces. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to say here. Somebody, um, I feel like there's a very strong magnetic attraction between, or a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction, passionate sexual attraction, okay? Um, this woman can see right through deception. That's why she's, like, taking things slow, moving very slowly, not making any choices, not making any decisions kind of up in her head because she sees this person as her emperor, her ten of cups. But she knows someone's not being truthful with this king of swords coming out sideways, seven of swords. And she can see right through the facade. Some This masculine is somebody who's like more materialistic. He would have to walk away from something materialistic. Maybe even a partnership where there's a lot of health, wealth, or value, or whatever, in order to go towards his counterpart, King to the Queen of Wands, to have some equal give and take. But he's confused, giving to two, like doesn't know how to bring balance to the situation. But this person isn't really like happy in this relationship. It, yes, it brings balance with this temperance card, but the four of cups, two of cups in the reverse, it's like somebody here isn't happy in love, but it brings balance to their life. And they're indecisive here. So throughout this weekend, I don't, I don't feel like anybody's going to be taking any action, saying anything, expressing anything. Because somebody's operating out of like a darker energy, feeling betrayed and backstabbed because of some type of secret that they're holding or keeping. I feel like you already know if you're the woman here. That's why somebody's like indecisive. Do I like drop this shit or do I fucking fix this shit? Should this be fixed, it could move forward in a very positive direction. Should it be dropped? Could move forward in a positive direction. I don't fucking know. I'm going to leave it here, Pisces. Let me know how this reading resonates with you. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.